Uh, I joined the station in early 1977, right out of the U of I, where I attended school. Uh, left in right around the turn of 99, 2000, so about 24 years. And everything from reporter to weekend anchor, substitute anchor, producer, I think I took out the garbage. <laughs> Really seemed like he did a little bit of everything around here. What right? a great memory there from John Paul. And welcome back. As we are celebrating 65 years here, we've got two other favorites here from, not from Seattle, I about said, nope, nope. but from the new, <laughs> Cynthia Bruno and Aaron Bennett. Aaron, you haven't been gone long enough to talk to you first, so we're going to start with Cynthia. <laughs> right. She's much more interesting than I am anyway, so. You so, haven't had a baby since you've no, been gone. So. No, thankfully. But what have you been doing since you left the news desk? So when I left, I went to work at a company out at Research Park, a startup out there, and then now I work at Busey. I was actually recruited by Ann Dill. Oh, look wow. at that. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Works out well. Nice but little pipeline there. You've also had another baby. I did. Yes, our second son, his name is Archibald Bruno. He was born in March, and so now our oldest is almost three, and the second is around eight months. And so, you know, I've got lots of free time and everything's very <laughs> relaxed. <laughs> you don't have any breaking news for us today, do you? About future. No! Oh, I just, make sure. oh I just want to make sure. You're right. here first. <laughs> if we're going to break news, we might as well. But right? Right, I tried. I'm sorry. No, are you going to babysit? Is that the deal? Is you know, that what's if, happening? If, uh, sure, why not? <laughs> why we, not? we just met, but maybe you don't want to do that. No. Do you have uh, any favorite stories from when you were here? I, I think you were on the Green Street fire back in 2011. I was, yeah. So that was, you know, a huge kind of story for the community. It really kind of changed the landscape a little bit of, of that campus town area. And and that was a, a really big story. And I remember just being out there kind of all day covering that. I was a reporter for the station at the time. And that smoke just like it. I can almost still feel what it was like to mm. be on that story. The smoke was really thick in the air. And there were just so many, you know, business owners who were seeing their livelihoods literally going up in smoke. And I think that kind of as I've been reflecting a little bit on what it has been like to be at WCIA and, you know, the station being here 65 years. I think one of the coolest things is that you get to really be a piece of this community's history. And, you know, certainly no one ever wants to take that that for granted. Yeah. Well, and just as you remember what it felt like to be there, there are many who remember seeing you report on it, too. Yeah. And so that's part of the fabric of sort of what this has all become. All right, let's get to you, Aaron oh, Bennett. <laughs> so how's the U of I treating you? Oh, great. Um, it's wonderful. I'm doing marketing at Geese College of Business at the U of I. Uh, I'm off work at 5 o'clock every night, which nice. is nice. amazing. Instead of um, starting? <laughs> yeah, instead of starting at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, yeah, my last newscast here was... June 28th, which was actually my wife and I's 10th anniversary, and so it's fitting that, symbolic that that was my last newscast, and now I'm, yeah. you know, moving to an area where I can spend a lot more time with my family and be home a lot more, and so it's been, it's been really good. And I know yeah. they are embracing having you home and enjoying mm -hmm. family dinners and outings they and all are. that. They love being back today, though. I bet to the so. Station, they were, good. We've you know, missed little yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, saying hi to everybody. Yes. So. Okay. Favorite memory? Favorite story? Oh, man. Um, personally, I, for me, I would have to go back to my sports days back in 2006, being a, Jennifer making faces at me over here. <laughs> um, being, a, being a Cardinals fan and getting to cover the Cardinals winning the World Series in 2006 and being there and being in the locker room um, when they were spraying champagne for winning the World Series was personally probably the biggest memory I have. And then from the news side, you know, I did a lot of really, you know, impactful stories with um, holding leaders accountable um, and all those kinds of really important stories. But I think the ones that were my favorite were the ones where we, t where I'm talking about. <laughs> talking about Jennifer's she's hoping it's you. That she, she's she's like, she's what are you going to name drop me? Right, right. Um, <laughs> really just telling the feature stories about the people in our area who are making a difference, I think, in the lives of other people who, who need it most. And I think um, highlighting and elevating those people were some of my favorite Besides things. Besides Jennifer yeah. back here, uh, who do you, or not, who do you, what do you miss the most? Definitely the people, um, yeah. without a doubt. I think just getting a chance for the last half hour or so to walk through the newsroom and just say hi to people. You know, it's not been very long since I have worked here, and so I'm still in contact with, you know, everyone who works here, and we still send funny text messages and Snapchats <laughs> to each other. And so um, just... 
I think the people inside these walls are so special and the viewers have always been amazing and it's great. I still see viewers in the grocery store and mm -hmm. anywhere out and about and they just want to talk about Channel 3 yeah. and about my family and I think that says a lot about what it means yeah. to have worked here. And wow. the legacy that you've left here on the station. <laughs> a little part. A we little still talk bit. about you guys all the time. <laughs> yeah, we so. do. So are you guys going to ask Aaron if he's pregnant? Aaron, do you have breaking no news? Announcement. <laughs> no announcement. No announcement here. No announcement? I'm safe. Stay tuned. We're, we're going to ask this Four question times. now every yeah. single segment until yeah. the end of the show. Uh, all right. Well, thank you guys for coming. Appreciate it, guys. Okay, we've got a few more video messages to check out. Hi, WCIA family. It's Amanda Evans here. I'm so excited to be a part of this special show because WCIA played such an important part in my life. I joined the team in 2006 and have so many memories and amazing stories from the community. Some of my favorite, I think, really have to do with resilience. Some of the stories that came out of the Watsika floods, some of the students and schools that would come together to rally around a, a problem or someone that needed help. That is what Central Illinois really showed to me in my time there as a reporter. And some of my personal special memories really had to do with the team there, whether it was being able to share the anchor desk with Dave Benton or learning all the tricks the trade from Jennifer Roscoe and so many of the friendships that I still have were formed right there in that newsroom in Champaign, Illinois. So now I've, I've moved on. I live in Indianapolis, Indiana with my four-year-old daughter. I still dabble in some TV and radio and magazines here and there, but mostly my heart belongs to the nonprofit I run called Cocktails and Chemo, where we support caregivers. And I truly think my calling to serve the community started right there at WCIA. So I'm excited uh, to be able to say hello to everyone and wish you a happy, happy anniversary. Thank you for all that you do for the community and for those of us that were lucky enough to be a part of the team. Hey everybody, it's Jason Elliott. I was sports director at Channel 3 from 2003 to 2007. I am in Washington, D.C. right now. There is the White House as I duck behind there. I'm here for uh, some donor cultivation work. I'm a major gift fundraiser now for UMKC in Kansas City. Uh, been in Kansas City for seven years and uh, obviously looking back, I love the time in Champaign. Um, it was a great four years. Our daughter was born there. She is now uh, 13. We have a son who's seven, so the family has grown since our time back in uh, uh, Champaign-Urbana. But a lot of great memories. A lot of fun working with Nevin Nelson, Rob Collins, uh, Aaron Bennett, of course, and uh, just a blast uh, covering a lot of great stories like the Illini and the National Championship game and, of course, the Super Bowl with the Colts and the Bears and uh, just a lot of great people at WCIA, Jennifer Roscoe, Michael Marsh, Robert Reese, uh, Dave Benton, uh, just a lot of super people, a lot of great memories. So uh, really glad to be a part of the history, 65 years at uh, WCIA. Congratulations to everyone, and uh, it's really an honor to be part of that great history.